Today in Tracy's basement, I've got a whole bunch of Sandler Moon Pops. Like a couple Dragon Ball Pops. Welcome back to the basement. Welcome to the channel. If you've never been here before, today I am expanding my Sailor Moon pop collection. And Jason has a couple of Dragon Ball ones. I got copped it. Your pile is way bigger. My pile is <laughs> way bigger than yours. You guys know how we feel about the pop community in general, but I think we have finally gotten rid of most of the really crazy people. Yeah, I think uh, I so... think it's safe. I think it's safe for us to do the occasional pop video. Yes, the occasional pop video when yeah. we have stuff we love. So I'm going to open up my Sailor Moon Pops today yeah. and Jason will open up some yeah. Dragon Ball ones. So you guys all know how we feel about the pop community, but that doesn't mean we're going to stop buying them when they're pops that suit our collection. We're just not a big fan of people who buy pops because they're pops. Exactly. But of course, we're going to do Dragon Ball and Sailor Moon because come on, that's really cool. Of course. So, so I'm going to start with Sailor Neptune and Sailor Uranus. You guys already know I have the the main five plus uh, tuxedo mask, who were basically the ones I really, really wanted because that's those were the episodes of my childhood kind of thing. But I did want the rest too. They came out and I got them. So yeah. there you go. <laughs> well, you gotta fill the shelf. You wanted the rest of the team. As always, really, you got the main five. Sailor Scouts, I don't really care if you get any of the rest of them. Yeah, but, well, those were my but, main ones, but <laughs> I do like all the other characters as well. So we do have Uranus and Neptune, who of course have to go together. They are a pair, and they are holding their... I always forget the names of them, but they're like, they're special secret items. I've watched it in English and Japanese, You're, and listen, my brain doesn't like to conglomerate it together. <laughs> after the first five Sailor Scouts, I know like virtually nothing about Sailor Moon. I know... That they're not cousins, they're YTV. Not cousins. <laughs> uh, that's about as far a as I know because I, I, I know quite. I've caught my fair share of Sailor Moon back in the day, but mostly it's because my sister was big into it, well, yeah. and it was all part of the zone on YTV at the time when they were bringing over all like the Pokemon and the Dragon Ball and airing it all together in like yeah. a two-hour block in the the evenings. And so just after the school. horrible dubs. So, <laughs> but so they are... most of this is, is you <laughs> filling me in. They are yeah. super, super cute. They're very similar to uh, the, the other Sailor Scouts with the outfits and everything, of course, but they have their different hair and their different coloring. And Uranus has her dagger blade and Neptune has her little uh, mirror. Here, just put them down. <laughs> Jeez. They're going to fall you're, over. You're spinning them around like They're going to fall so. over. Why didn't you take I, their stands out? I didn't out? take the stands out because yeah. I was distracted by how cute and pretty they are but they do have the stands so she's got a huge paint splotch on the back she of does. her head though typical I typical mean, funko paint jobs you're not going to see the back of her anyway on my not, shelf not for the most still, part but it's still ridiculous yeah but yeah they do have their stands so they will be able to stand up properly and all that and i won't be able to get them in right now without <laughs> fussing around too much but they are super super cute i do like them very nice. And then we have Saturn and Pluto as well, who are the least, you know, they have like the least episodes. I know nothing about these two. <laughs> they, they don't uh, show up all that often. So Pluto is a little bit more, more important to the storyline um, when green, uh, Chibi Moon comes along. And she has the bright, bright green kind of hair. It's a little bit too green, actually. In the show, it's more of a, a, a dark aqua kind of a color, but whatever. It's cute. She's got the little bum there, and she's holding that big, long key staff. She is, of course, the keeper of the space-time door, so her job is basically to stand by that door, but eventually, for some reason, even though she's never supposed to leave, eventually she does leave and show up for more episodes, but <laughs> she is super, super cute as well. And Jason has Saturn. Saturn is the, uh, the last one to show up, and she doesn't play a huge part because she's like, she shows up and then she goes away, and then she comes back a little bit later on, but... They have she, pretty cool weapons. They do, they have like awesome that weapons. One. She that has, one's got a wicked weapon. That is the one that I remember the name of, 
because it's such a cool name, it is the Silence Glaive. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. She is the basically the Sailor Scout of Death. And you said this Saturn is like is the death this is like a keyblade type thing. Key yeah, staff? it's like a big long key staff that controls lets her control Kingdom Hearts time, all up in door. here. <laughs> you never played Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> I did play Kingdom Hearts because uh, you know I tried playing Kingdom Hearts and I was like, wow, it's been like two hours and I haven't done anything. That's true. So, <laughs> but all four of these are really cool and they're like the they they're called like the Outer Planet. Sailor Scouts, and they're not part of like the main team. Basically, they're kind of the, like, their own little team. But I love them. I think they're really cool. I do want to have them. Chibi Moon is who Adriana desperately wanted. Yeah, Adriana was the, mostly the cause of this. Yeah, so. she actually wanted me to buy two <laughs> so that I could have one on my shelf and she could have her own. And I was like, no, <laughs> that's getting a little silly. But I will let her play it with Chibi Moon because she loves her. She is, of course, all in pink. Like bright bubblegum pink with the little kind of, I don't know, cone shape. You got me. <laughs> <laughs> You're looking at me like I'm gonna have an answer to I that. I don't eh? know. My hey, brain is all over the place. <laughs> I know what a pompadour is, and I know what a crew cut is, and that's all of my hair knowledge. <laughs> Sailor GV Moon, of course, super cute. She's smaller than the rest, of course, a little bit smaller, and she's doing the little. Yeah. She's not, trying to emulate Sailor not, Moon. Pose. Not exactly like uh, Funko thinks are to scale. No. Or anything, not even but, close. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I guess it's cool that it is a little bit smaller, yeah. though. She, she had to be at least a little bit smaller because she's a little kid in the yeah. show. Same price, though. Same price. <laughs> and she has the little heart on her locket thing as well. I also have the 2017 Fall Convention exclusive Sailor V. Oh, which... yeah. We're getting into the exclusive now. The rest yes, of the four of these are exclusive. Everything that's left is exclusive. So. And this wasn't like a must-have kind of a thing for me, but I'm happy to have it because I did think it was kind of neat. It is Venus, of course, but this is when she is Sailor V. She was the first Sailor Scout to get her memory, and uh, she played a superhero for a while by herself. So she has like... That stand is terrible. All of the stands are terrible. <laughs> I they, know. The holes don't want to line up. I know. They're go. all terrible. <laughs> <laughs> so she has like... The different kind of outfit on. It's a little bit of a different coloring. The the shirt shows the midriff and everything. And she has, instead of the tiara, she has the moon on her head and the big winged glasses. So in the... That was actually pretty cool. It is really cool. I like it. And in the... Um, it's heavy. In the English show, it was done a little bit different. But in the original show, she pretended to be the moon princess for a while yep. to uh, help keep the heat off of Serena, basically. So... so that's why the moon on the forehead. So this was going to be a Sailor Moon Funko Pop haul, but instead, you guys have just received a Sailor Moon history lesson of every aspect uh, of the show, and uh, we barely touched on the actual pops at all. So, you a little excited to talk Sailor Moon? A little I excited? Like Sailor Moon. Nobody talks so, Sailor Moon. Yeah, I know, but you didn't even talk about the toys, really. <laughs> so you're like Sailor Moon, this and this is a magical. That's how you know something is a little plain. When you got to talk about everything else but the toy, I uh, talked about the weapons this one they were is, holding. Yeah, in. okay, okay, okay. <laughs> this one's pretty cool though. Yeah, uh, I do like that. One. I like I, how it's it's diff the different outfit. I hate how it has a huge blue mark across yeah, the eye though. It's got kind of like a scrape, like this, yeah. the white was scraped away. It's uh, it's not like a, a tiny little scrapes or flaws really bother me on toys, but when it, it's on a gigantic circular white part, it really <laughs> yeah, stands exactly. out. It's like a real sore. <laughs> Thumb kind of thing. So I will that, give them geez, props. She's heavy. But it's all the hair, right? But I will give them props for Sailor V because they didn't just basically copy the Sailor Venus pop and change the coloring a little bit. They actually yeah. did like do the redesign yeah. on the. It's nice when they have her in the different pose. And put a little effort into something for once. Every now and, <laughs> so. and then. And I have one more. It is the Toys R Us exclusive. It is Queen Barrel, and I absolutely love it. And I I almost wish they would make a few more of the uh, the enemies like the. Uh, like Jedi and Malachi and all those, but then <laughs> I I'm already running out of space on the shelf as it is. <laughs> yeah, you don't want, you get, at this point, if you add too much more, you're going to end up blocking your girl's memories yeah, figures. And, and I don't want to do that. No, that's kind of the most important thing on the Sailor Moon <laughs> shelf right now is those. So. Queen Barrel doesn't have a stand because she has the flat dress. She is wearing that big purple dress that shows her uh, assets in the front. 
Oh, okay. <laughs> Essex. Ah, uh, you can barely see him. <laughs> well, I mean, it's a pop. But she's holding her big staff with the, the kind of claw and the little purple crystal ball. And the hair is the thing. They've got the hair doing the crazy, like, when she's going really mad and her hair starts to float up like that. I'm really glad that they did that because it gives it a little bit more character. Yeah. They could have easily done it flat down, too. It does lay flat down in most episodes, but yeah. that's really cool when it does that no, It's crazy... actually pretty cool, yeah. Yeah, I like it. As much she's as got a... the yellow eyes and everything. Yeah, say, as but... much as, as Pops have kind of overstayed their welcome and they're getting a little tired with their basic concept, uh, that is a pretty cool one, though. So, yeah, I, I, I was happy that. with that. And it was about time that they did at least one bad guy to yeah. kind of flesh out the collection. Yeah. So well, I mean, you don't really have to worry about fleshing out collections when you make 16 million things, though. Come on, now. you're asking them to make more, yet at the same time we complain that they make too much. <laughs> that that doesn't make any sense. Fair so, enough. Yeah. But Watch what you say. They'll listen. <laughs> so. Queen Barrel was an important, very, very important yeah. character, though. So. Yeah. That's All right. that's my my final. Song. I picked this one up the other day <laughs> in the city, so I, I can go uh, onto mine now. I can find one of mine, and I'm not going to give you guys a history lesson on Dragon Ball Z. I'm just going to show you Go Tanks, and you guys can just decide if he's cool or not. Okay, okay. So this is a previews exclusive, and uh, he doesn't have a stand, so he, he has nice is... flat feet and yep. a nice open wide stance. So and he, he... Had it okay, so this is basically. Uh, Goten and Trunks uh, after they fuse. This is fusion. And uh, he's got the purple hair from Trunks and the black hair from Goten. And he's doing his little pose that is like, uh, they're always about posing. <laughs> Actually, I was playing Dragon Ball Z Fighters and uh, there's a cool little cutscene you can unlock if you use Gotenks and uh, the Ginyu Force where they argue over whose poses are cooler. <laughs> it's really, it's a lot of fun. It's super cute, actually. Uh, but yeah, he's got his pose out. Uh, if Pops weren't so big-headed and uh, unruly, it'd almost be a dab. <laughs> but I don't... No dabbing. No, no dabbing. dab. No dabbing. Oh. No dabbing. <laughs> Can't stand it. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> but, and he's got his little towel wrap there uh, in the back. It's like his little sash, hanging sash wrap, so... That's pretty cool. Previews exclusive. I was pretty happy to pick that up because uh, as much as we're downsizing on our pops immensely uh, because just, come on, it's too much. Um, everybody's collection is overrun now and it's starting to get uninteresting. Uh, the Dragon Ball Z ones aren't going anywhere. No, so definitely not. They're some of my favorite ones. So I was happy to add him. And this one I actually got a while back. I just never showed off uh, because we just stopped doing pop videos. Uh, and this is from the Black Friday boxes uh, at GameStop. It is the GameStop exclusive metallic blue-haired Vegeta, Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. So this one was pretty cool. Yeah. I actually think this guy is uh, going for decent money now. I'm not. I can't remember, but I mean, most pops now are, are practically worthless unless they're <laughs> super old. But uh, this guy's going pretty good. But Dragon Ball Z stuff always sells. So he is the basic second Vegeta mold that they made, like, With the hand that's bit. been repainted, like, eight times uh, now. <laughs> and we have the Super Saiyan one, we have the black-haired one, we have the blue hair, standard blue hair one, we have the metallic blue hair one, and we have the prototype <laughs> of this. So, we have a lot of this Vegeta mold. <laughs> So I might I have really, to. really, really like Vegeta. Yeah, no. though. I, I know, but that's just too many of the same mold. I might have to cut one or two of them out because it's just, because it looks the same on the shelf. You know what I mean? There's no variety. It's not interesting. But I, no, I'm not getting rid of Vegeta. I can't. I can't. I'm a Vegeta fanboy. I can't do it. Vegeta's so. too cool. It is. I don't. Know. Awesome. Okay. But this is really cool. So it is the same as the basic uh, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Vegeta. The SSG SS sounds like a boat. It does right? Uh, the blue hair Vegeta, and uh, so we everybody just calls it Super Saiyan Blue. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, the Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, and uh, but he's metallic painted in the hair, and it's pretty pretty cool. I, I like it. He's got the Wiss, uh, you know, armor that's suit yeah, on that he takes when he's going. Movement, yeah. yeah, that's when he's going and training with Wiss. Bulma gives it to him, and uh, he's holding out the hand like he's ready to either fight or not not really a key blast but it looks like he's ready to fight ready to grapple with yes so that's pretty More cool just kind of a getting ready yeah. to fight position. it's pretty cool i like it despite the fact that i have this mold like four or five times now 
yeah, I still think it's pretty cool. It's so, such a pretty blue paint yeah, too. I, I do like the metallic uh, paint on it. That, I think that's what really gets it for me. He's not. He's going to be your typical terrible stand-up pop. But uh, we've mentioned our table sucks too. So, yeah, but uh, <laughs> you know, I dig it. I dig. I dig it. Despite the fact that I'm so sick of these variant repaints constantly coming out, like a new one every few months and stuff, uh, I dig it. I think it's cool. I'm happy to have it in the collection because I'm a massive Dragon Ball Z fan. You're a Dragon Ball Z fan. So it makes sense. It makes sense to have it. <laughs> so that was our little anime slash uh, anime Sailor Moon slash Dragon Ball pop haul. That was You're too trying difficult. way too hard. I don't, know. <laughs> Just... I don't know what I was trying to go for there. Bunch of pops, <laughs> Sailor Moon and Dragon it's pops. Ball. <laughs> it's pops. You can just say it's pops. That's all anybody seems to care about anyway. It's pops. It's pops. It says pop, so you gotta have it. It's pop. <laughs> Adding to Jason's Dragon Ball collection, probably finishing. I would say my Sailor Moon collection. I don't think there's really gonna be any more. If added there is, I don't think there's really. I don't think there must haves. What they have like the ones out that are in like the gown and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, I'm, like, I'm not particularly you know worried what? about those. Yeah, I, you've I got like, like three Sailor Moons already. Stuff. Like at this point, who cares, <laughs> right? Who cares? So, Did you guys let us know what you thought of them. Of the ones that we showed you today, which ones are your favorite? Who's your favorite Sailor Scout? Who's your favorite DBZ character? Let us know in the comments section below. If you've enjoyed the video, I like Frieza. <laughs> please give us a big thumbs and up. Vegeta. Share with your friends. Subscribe <laughs> to the channel if you haven't already. You can also follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Snapchat at Tracy's Basement, Jason from TV on Twitter, and of course, as always, guys, keep coming back for more Tracy's Basement. Bye! Bye.